Let us kick off this big hour with one of the world's biggest companies making a big time commitment, and that is NVIDIA. NVIDIA finally unveiling exactly where and when it's going to be investing hundreds of millions of dollars in American manufacturing. Dare we say, it's a feel good story, but it's also an important one for maybe the most important stock in the world. Let's talk about it, the kickoff power lunch with Christina Partsnevelis joining us from the NASDAQ. And yes, this does appear, Christina, to be not only big news, but a little bit of good news. Yeah. Oh, no, no doubt. And the president is celebrating that. But as the White House's semiconductor tariff investigation gets underway and they determine uh, what they're going to charge chip companies, NVIDIA announced plans today to establish over one million square feet of manufacturing space in the United States. There's that feel good story. The tech giant is going to produce Blackwell chips in Arizona and build AI supercomputers in Texas through partnerships with Fos Foxconn and Wistron. With these facilities, it's expected to be operational within about 12 to 15 months. And this move is really part of NVIDIA's previously announced $500 billion AI infrastructure investment over four years. Though when first revealed, it was uh, last month, if I recall, the details were limited. It's still not entirely clear, Brian, how much AI manufacturing will actually relocate to American soil, given that the semiconductor supply chain remains predominantly centered in Asia and is incredibly complex, which was in that NVIDIA blog post today. The Trump administration, though, views this development as validation of its tariff strategy. President Trump shared the news on Truth Social and stated, also from the Oval Office this morning, the higher the tariff, the faster they come, pretty much referring to manufacturers establishing domestic operations are promising to do so. TSMC is making similar commitments with its pledge of an additional $100 billion investment, while Apple is committed $500 billion over the next four years. These actions may establish a new precedent for how technology companies respond to current trade pressures. Lobby the president to get exempted. The winners will likely be semiconductor companies or hardware firms that can rapidly shift production to U.S. soil while securing favorable exemptions through their promised domestic investments, Brian. Okay, uh, not to bring politics into this or leave it out, because that's what I'd prefer to do, to be honest, Christina, but I've got to imagine these kinds of capital commitments are not made in a matter of weeks. These must be multi-month or multi-quarter or multi-year type plans. I wonder if they're bigger than any president. I don't know. Yeah, and it's interesting how all of these promises are over a four-year term, right? Um, to your point, Foxconn and Wistron are already established manufacturing hubs. It's just a question as to whether how advanced they can produce uh, to, to really uh, be at the level that NVIDIA needs. Uh, for TSMC, TSMC has said, uh, the Taiwanese minister did say in Taiwan that the ch plant here in the United States is not going to be the most advanced. So you have to keep in mind, too, that and companies like NVIDIA or AMD may not be able to even produce on American soil if the, the technology isn't as advanced as they need, uh, especially when they're putting out chips on an annual cadence. And these fabs can take anywhere between three and five years to build. They have to get exemptions. They have to get licenses. They need to find the talent, which I don't think we preface enough. TSMC Arizona is a great example. I was there two years ago interviewing the president of TSMC Arizona, and the, the, the topic of the interview was the fact that they had to fly in so many workers from Taiwan. His argument was that Americans were not skilled enough to work with advanced uh, equipment makers like ASML, so they had to fly in people. So is that going to be the case for all of these other promises? Well, very quickly, how much of this is also maybe just let's not have everything in Taiwan for obvious reasons. Right. And, the, and a lot of manufacturers have already been shipping, uh, shipping, switching their uh, their production and manufacturing to Mexico. Uh, Cisco is a great example, too. They've been doing that for several years. So this is an opportunity to get the ball rolling. But we need to be realistic about the timeline.